Introducing our Trick LED 4x6 inch LED American flag kit for the 2020 and up Canon Spider RT and RT Limited. This LED flag kit shines bright with a brilliant display of red, white, and blue and features 50 stars and 13 stripes so you can proudly express your patriotism while at the same time adding a safety element that allows vehicles falling behind you to see you more clearly. And as you can see, the LED flag is coated with a UV resistant epoxy coating, giving it a nice smooth finish that makes it both easy to clean as well as protects the LEDs from mother nature. This kit includes a black powder coated mounting bracket as well as all necessary wiring and hardware for straightforward installation. Now let's get started with the install. Now we're going to be doing the installation today on our 2020 RT base model. If you have the 2020 RT limited model, you will have a rear trunk in this location here. If you have the limited model, you will need to reference your manual on how to unlock, remove, and unplug the rear trunk prior to installation. Start by pressing down on your key and turning it clockwise so that you can unlock and lift up the driver's seat. Then reach your hand underneath and back to release the two clips holding the back seat in place and just lift it up and off. Now carefully lift up the rear deck panel and tilt it up and back to unhook it from the front. Now make sure you remove the key from the ignition. Then pop open your right hand side saddle back door and unscrew these four plastic screws. Now these are really just push pins so you don't have to unscrew them all the way, just enough to release the pressure on the clip. Then use a small flathead screwdriver to release the door shock. So you can unscrew these two T25 Torx screws. And then use a T30 Torx and 10 millimeter wrench to unscrew and remove this nut and bolt at the front of the bag. Next, take an eight millimeter socket and remove this top screw. Then use a T20 Torx to remove this other screw right next to it. Now lift off this small panel cover and unscrew this T15 Torx underneath. This will loosen up the rear fairing just enough to access and remove this 5.5 millimeter screw and T30 Torx screw so that you can pull this panel out just enough to access the taillight harness underneath and unplug it, plugging in the new harness from the kit. Next, you'll need to remove your license plate and drill a small hole big enough for the flag wire to fit through in the middle of the panel about here. Now take your new mounting plate and insert the LED flag wire through the bottom hole on the left and then in through the hole we just drilled. Then you can reinstall your license plate through the top two mounting holes on the new mounting bracket, making sure the bracket is nice and straight before tightening it all the way down. Next, take the alcohol prep pad and clean the service area of the mounting plate where the flag will be mounted to and let that sit for a minute to dry before going over the same service area with the included primer wipe. Once that's dry, test fit the flag so you can see where it's gonna line up. Then peel off a small section of the protective backing tape. Line it up so that it's centered. And then press down firmly to adhere into place, peeling back a small section of backing tape as you go. Now use something to reach down and grab the wire we ran earlier and carefully pull out the excess slack. 
Now you may need to loosen your license plate just a little bit so you can push the excess wire through and then just tighten it back down. Next, you can crimp on the bullet connectors to the wire ends. And then add a little dielectric grease to both before plugging in the red bullet connector from the flag wire to the orange connector on the taillight harness and then the black bullet connector from the flag wire to the black connector on the taillight harness. You will notice that the harness we plugged into the bike has several different color wires on it, many of which will not be used for this installation. We will only be using the orange and black wires on that harness for this particular installation. The other wires on this harness will be used for other lighting mods we offer on our website. Now turn on your ignition and test the light to make sure it works. And if everything looks good, go back through and wrap everything up with electrical tape. And zip tie any and all excess wiring up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. And then finally, you can reinstall the panels and hardware in the reverse order you removed them. And then for one last finishing touch, the manufacturers included this adhesive square tile mount that adheres to the backside of the mounting plate to help keep your wiring nicely tucked in and out of sight. So to mount this adhesive square, first clean the service area with an alcohol prep pad just below the bend here and let that sit for a minute to dry. Then peel back the protective backing tape on the adhesive square, line it up where you want it, and then press down firmly to adhere into place. Now take the zip tie and insert it into the slots of the adhesive square. Then align the wire in the middle of the tile while you zip tie it snug. And there you have it folks, you've now successfully installed your LED American flag kit on your Canon Spider RT. Now as you can see, once installed it demands attention and adds a really cool look to the bike. So if an LED American flag kit's on your mod list, then be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab an LED flag kit for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything Spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Till next time.